What's up guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as many of you know, I'm French and a couple of months ago I left to the US for a whole semester as an exchange student. I already made I think like two whole videos about it, but you guys still have lots and lots of questions about it. So I'm trying to answer most of them in this video, but after this I'm trying to calm down on exchange videos and focus on something else and do other stuff. So if you guys have ideas or video requests you want to see on my YouTube channel, definitely tell me and I'll make that happen. Okay, so we're gonna start this video now. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get is how was my English before I left? Have I always been this fluent? And how was how did I learn English in the first place? Before I left, my English wasn't bad at all. Um, I was able to hold a whole conversation with someone and when I got there I was already understanding pretty much everything that was going on in class and in my host family and all that. So I think that's what made my exchange that easy. I started learning English at a young age not because I had to. I did because I wanted to. I already speak French and Italian and when you already speak more than one language your brain is not more open but then it's it just easier for you to learn languages and I've always loved languages so learning English for me was just like I loved it so when I was like about seven or eight I think I used to translate song lyrics and find out what the lyrics meant and when the song meant and all that stuff as I got older I started watching TV shows movies and YouTube videos all in English and th that's how I learned English basically because cool here it doesn't really have a good English level so it didn't really help me learn English you guys also want to know after how many months I got comfortable talking English like being in the US I'd say probably a month because I was already able to hold a whole conversation and understand school the hard part was really making English my first language as I was there um, and after a, a month, that's what it became, and it's kind of, it still is today, like I still think in English, but I know it can take way more time for other people, it just happened to be that short for me. Yes, it is possible to go on an exchange with a bad English level. All you need are the bases. You'll probably have to take a test before you go to see if you're able to survive there <laughs> with the minimum. But if you have the minimum, you can go. I mean, you go on an exchange to improve your to improve your English. So yes, you can go with a bad English level. You just have to have the basis and that's it. Many of you want to go on an exchange, but you are wondering how much it costs. The truth is there really isn't a price. There's a departure price that you pay to your home agency. And that price is most of the time pretty high, sadly, but it is and I don't want to talk about money on my YouTube channel because I, I think it's a pretty private thing. Um, but the price is pretty high already at first. But then you also got to consider all the money you got to spend there because your whole family doesn't buy your personal things. So then in the end, it's a pretty high price, but um, it's worth it. All my French subscribers wonder what... Uh, agency I left with and how did I find it? So I left with an agency that's called ISPA, ISPA in French, kind of the same thing, just translated. I found it because I was looking for one to go on an exchange and it's one of the only ones that allowed me to go when I was 14 years old and in ninth grade because most of the French agencies only allow you to go when you're like 15, 16 or older. And I was only 14 at the time, I just turned 15, so there's not really much of a difference, but yeah. So when I was on my exchange, I missed five months of school here in France. And I justified it because I was in school overseas, but I was in school. So my school let me go, but there was one condition, which was I had to catch up the five months I missed. So my grades in the US did not matter here. Um, but I have to catch up everything I missed, uh, so I'm in that, in that whole process right now. I'm almost done catching up, so I'm really happy about that because it's a lot of work. But yeah, that's how my French school allowed me to go and how I justified it. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get also is, 
Am I planning on going back to visit? Yes, I am. Um, I can't talk about it right now because, I mean, it's not for sure, but I am planning on going back to visit. And I'm really excited about, about it because I miss it a lot. And um, it, it became home and... I mean, I, I miss it. So yes, I definitely want to go back to visit and I'm planning it. Also, do I want to go on another exchange? Yes, I do. Not right now. I mean, if I could, I would. I'm just going into high school and I still have three years of school left and I have to graduate and I have like a whole school here. So I can't just go on an exchange and do my thing. No, I can't. So if I do go back on an exchange one day, I'll go to a completely different country. I don't know if I changed the language because that's hard, but I would definitely go to another country. So you guys know that I have a boyfriend that um, I'm having a long distance relationship with. And you guys have lots of questions about that too, about how we're doing this and like, is it easy and all that stuff. So no, it is not easy. Let me tell you, uh, no. <laughs> it is not an easy thing to do because I mean, Long distance means that we barely see each other. Last time we saw each other was like three months ago. And it's also like hard sometimes to communicate because of time difference and different lifestyles, obviously. So far, I think we're handling this pretty good. I am planning on seeing him back, so yeah. So last question is, did I visit places while I was in the US? And yes, I did. I went to New York City with my real family. So they came all the way from, all the way from France and I came all the way from Arizona and we met in New York City and spent a week together that was during fall break so that was really cool then I also went to Seattle with my whole family I loved it it was awesome and then we went I went to Las Vegas twice the first time was with my whole family and a really close friend of mine we went to Las Vegas and spent I think a weekend there or something it was awesome and the second time was with my coordinator and other exchange students and we went there for like four days, I think. And it was just awesome. I love Las Vegas. I want to go back. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope I answered most of your guys' questions. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media if you're new. As I said at the beginning of this video, I want to switch it up a little bit and do uh, different kind of videos. So definitely tell me what you guys want to see so I can do it and do better content so i'll see you guys soon take care of yourself don't forget to smile and thank you for watching bye